Hi guys, this is Patience, aka One Song. Um, this is my week 20 update. Um, and I must say that I am very happy to have had the lap band surgery, um, I guess four months ago. Was it four? Maybe five months ago if I'm week 20, right? Anyway, um, I had it back in November, November 19th, um, 2009. So happy because I would not have been able to achieve my weight loss goals, my weight loss goals that goal that I've already achieved. Um, I'm right at what is it? I've lost 94 pounds, and the couple of past couple of weeks I had some fluctuation in my weight. It really didn't change much. I don't know if I'm gaining muscle or whatever, but I know I've lost inches because some of my gym clothes are getting big. So I've lost some inches around my waist. I'm going to try to do some measurements, hopefully, before I post my posting. But um, if I don't, I'll just update next week to tell how much, how many inches I lost. Um, I've been trying to get tone work on my arms and things like that um, because I'm still having my knee issue, um, which is very disturbing to me. Um, it's like the whole position of my, not my knee, I, I don't have any swelling or anything, and it's not really painful, it's just uncomfortable. And I went to my doctor yesterday, and he thought I have an overuse of my knee, so, which I've been resting it for, hmm, because I was supposed to run the 5K on Saturday, and I wanted to go check with him to see if it was going to be okay for me to do that. I've been resting for like a week now, and I've just been doing weights and just strength training. And he said that um, I probably should continue to rest for about three weeks, which I was like, oh, I was just about to cry because um, this was something I was really looking forward to, and it was going to be a major milestone, I guess, in my weight loss journey. I really haven't rewarded myself or did anything special since I started, and this was going to be my um, my milestone, so I was just a kind of little, I was very disappointed, um, so I guess, but my injury is just a result of me working out, and uh, I guess it's my fault, but anyway, I just had to get over that, so I've been dealing with that, um, I guess last week. I really want to work out. It's something that I've been enjoying, and I'm sorry, guys. This is this is kind of hard. I guess um, it's something that I have grown to enjoy, and me not being able to do it is kind of stressing me out. Um, I guess that brings about you know the fear of gaining weight. Fear of being unsuccessful with my journey. So I was, despite of what my physician said yesterday, I was just going to run the race on Saturday. But after I talked to other people, because I think it's my ligament, um, I, I think that's what it is. And after speaking with other people, my doctor would give me an MRI. He said, just wait. Um, but after speaking with other people, I think I'm just going to sit out. I'm going to have to um, sit out, but I'm going to go and support people who are running with me. Um, I was looking so forward to it. Um, but anyway, I guess I have to do something else when I achieve my 100 pounds. Um, so anyway, that's um, the hard part. I mean, you know, last week I kind of because I haven't been able to work out. I guess it was like another addiction. Um, whew, this is my therapy session. It was like an addiction for me. So I, it was like an addiction. So I had no outlet last week to, um, I guess to transfer my feelings or emotions to and so what I do I snack all the time just like all the time and I was like 
to say, my gosh, I'm really addicted to food. Um, just because I can't exercise like I want, it's like, I just wanted to snack. I was like, oh, it was just like, and I was snacking on the wrong thing, so, but uh, hopefully I get back on track. Um, I guess only gaining two pounds with snacking is not bad, but I'm trying to figure out why I eat. So every time I eat, I ask myself, am I eating because I'm hungry or am I eating because just because, um, to come back to something else. But anyway, I guess that's it on that. Um, so the food addiction is real. It really is. Um, I'm addicted to the wrong things. <sighs> so hopefully my knee gets better and I'll be able to go. But anyway, make a long story short, I'm still working out. I just work on my upper body and he said I can do some slow walking. So I'm just going to look for leg exercises and, um, other other ways to um, be fit. Um, and I'm just going to fix my diet and hope everything works out well. I saw my doctor yesterday. Um, I had my third fill and I have an 11cc real life band and right now I have 8cc's and oh my god he really gave me a fill. I was thinking he was only going to give me one um, but I'm really tight. Um, when he initially did it, he filled my whole band. I was like, oh, he said, you felt that? I said, yeah. Anyway, he felt really tight. He said, oh, I'm not going to leave it that way. So he took out, um, no, he gave me three. Yeah, he gave me three, which would have made me at nine. Not really filling my band, but it made me at nine CCs. So he took out one and gave me two. I was thinking, oh, he said it looked good, but. I can really, I thought I felt restriction before, but now I can really feel restriction. I was able to, before I was able to just go with my water, drink, and not sip, but I already noticed that I have to actually sip on fluid. Um, so we'll see. I start eating my diet tomorrow, and uh, we'll see, but I guess it's going to help me to get to my weight loss goal this week. I'm doing a challenge with my coworker. He said, well, he said I'll get to my 100-pound mark this week with this bill, which I believe in because it's kind of, um, it's hard. So if you're out there, let me know um, what are the symptoms you have if you've had an overfill. Because I'm just curious about having an overfill. I don't know if I'm overfilled or not. I thought maybe he'd give me 0. 0.5 or 0. 0.1, but he didn't. So... But I guess I can't eat all that junk that I've been eating, but I don't plan to. I plan to do the right thing and get back on track. Um, I've been doing so well for the past six months that I really don't want to turn back. And that's why this knee injury has really got me because I can't really exercise like I like to and like I enjoy and do activities that I enjoy. So let me see what else. Say something else, but it totally slipped my head. Um, um, okay, um, there you go. I can't remember what I was gonna say. I was gonna talk about, I talked about, oh, for the month of uh, the next 30 days, I have my minute weight loss challenge with my co worker, and our goal is to lose 15 pounds in the next 30 days. So if you're out there and you want to join in our weight loss challenge by May, what was it, May the, because we did this on, let me see, so we said by May the 10th, or anyway, in the next 30 days, we're going to lose 10 pounds, I mean 15 pounds, which will bring me under, which hopefully will bring me to my under 200 mark, so that will be, I need to lose. Yeah. Anyway, so I hope you guys have a great week, and I'm going to press forward, but I will be at the Cheerios Challenge supporting Sonia and Black Candy, but I will not be running. I sure hate it, but 
I just don't want to risk um, damaging my knee any more than it is. If it is my ligament, I, ligament, I just want to rest it. Um, okay, guys. Have a great week.